So when we designed this master's program, we were looking at two groups of students. The first group of students are students that want to transition into academia and they are hoping to teach anatomy. While the second group of students are interested in the clinical aspect of anatomy. And this has definitely influenced the way we designed this course. So this master's program is completed in 12 months. So students come in from September and they, they finish in the following September. The first semester runs between September and December, and the second semester is between January and April. In the first two semesters, the students get to learn about the taught aspects of this course, while the third semester is dedicated for research. In the first two semesters, the students learn about the different anatomical sciences. The gross anatomy module, which I teach, runs over the two semesters. In this module, students get to learn anatomy in active learning sessions. This is also followed by practical sessions here in the FLAME laboratory, where the students get to participate in dissection of a human body donor here in the FLAME laboratory in small groups. In the first semester, along with gross anatomy, students get to complete the anatomy pedagogy module along with the embryology module. In the second semester, students also continue their gross anatomy and they also learn the neuroanatomy and the radiological imaging module. The radiological imaging module is delivered by a clinical radiologist. In these sessions, students learn about the theoretical aspect of different radiological modalities and more importantly, they get opportunity to learn about hands-on experiences. These hands-on experiences take place here in the Flame Laboratory and also in local hospitals here in Cork City. One of the modules that I'm very passionate about is the Anatomy Pedagogy module. On this module, students get to learn about the different theories in the scholarship of teaching and learning. In this module, students have the opportunity to lead different teaching sessions among their peers and also deliver clinical tutorials to different cohorts of students. This module is in collaboration with the Center of Integration in Research, Teaching and Learning. One of the unique aspects about this course is the different assessment methods used. So between formative, continuous and summative assessments, students get the opportunity to learn different skills that they can use in their future careers. For example, in the anatomy module, students are assessed using quizzes, essays, spot exams, oral exams and different types of written paper exams. The most important thing for us is that the students are at the center of the learning process. We want our students to graduate with enough theoretical knowledge and practical skills to excel in their future careers.